So just a quick video on how to add contingency funding to uh, your budgeted total cost for each activity. A uh, couple ways to do it. Here's one. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to use uh, user-defined fields in a global change uh, to add, let's say, a 10% contingency uh, to all these activities. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to add a column, a user-defined field uh, in that column uh, for uh, contingency. So uh, I'm going to go to uh, Enterprise, User-Defined Fields, and I'm going to add one called Contingency. I'll abbreviate it. Uh, and the contingency will be uh, expressed as a cost. So I'll go ahead and hit close there. I've added it. I'm going to go ahead and add that, that User-Defined field as a column right now. Here it is. I'm not worried about the spelling, right? Uh, and so I'm going to go ahead and run a quick uh, global change, which is a formula, right? Calculation, and figure out the contingency, which would be 10%. So I want to multiply all of these budgeted total costs by 10%. So uh, go to Tools, Global Change. I'm going to add one, and I'm going to call this one Contingency. And if statement, I'm going to leave that blank because it applies to all activities. I'm going to go straight to then, add here, and say that contingency is going to be equal to, so leave that as equals, uh, budgeted total cost multiplied by, that's my operator, and then the parameter value is going to be a custom value of 0.1, right, for 10%. So uh, once I do this, I can go ahead and run that change. So I hit change. It's telling me, do you wish to proceed? You can't undo it. Hit yes. So here's those $100 for each of those $1,000 activities. I'm going to commit these changes. I don't need to save the log file, so I choose no. Close that. Close that. And here you go. Hundred dollars, hundred dollars, hundred dollars, hundred dollars, hundred dollars. If I wanted to add another column called total, maybe bill rate, uh, I could uh, create a user-defined field called bill rate and have it equal the sum of the budgeted total cost and the contingency. Or I could just call it bill rate and have it equal to budgeted total cost multiplied by 1.1, which would, would yield the same answer. Thank you.